Welcome to Making It, Artists and Stories. I'm Linda Marie Cologne, your host, and I'm here with Amy McNamara, Wallingford's local artist. So tell me a little bit about how you got started becoming Wallingford's local artist and what led to what we're going to go over, amazing watercolor. On a whim, I took a, a daily drawing class at Creative Arts Workshop in Haven. Um, it was only a five-week class. The teacher gave us a list of 365 prompts. So I thought, I'm going to share um, my daily drawings on the internet. So I shared them on my Facebook page and my Instagram account. Just religiously shared them every day. People really started to look forward to seeing what I was posting every day. I got to the prompt for Landmark, and I decided to draw our local Dairy Queen. I would love to okay. see our local Dairy Queen. So this queen. is the local Dairy Queen here. And if you're from Wallingford or you're a patron of Dairy Queen, I think that pretty much is right scale and is definitely recognizable. It's one of our landmarks. Five yeah. Five. Anytime you give someone directions, you say, you know, turn at the <laughs> Dairy, at Queen. Dairy Queen. So I had done that in February of 2017. I didn't really think anything of it. I had shared it just on my Facebook page and then Instagram and, you mm -hmm. know, did get some feedback. People liked it. I kept going with the daily drawing prompts and sharing them every day. But then I think it was sometimes maybe in May, I said, you know, I'm just going to share the Dairy Queen on the local Wallingford forum mm -hmm. on Facebook. Which is the closed group on Facebook, but it's for residents of mm -hmm. Wallingford, right. which has an amazing following. It does. And I just thought, you know, it'd be fun for everyone to see it. And my whole thing was, you know, sharing beauty and positivity. And I thought, you know, this would be a nice thing for mm -hmm. the community. I didn't really think anything of it. And then later that day, I checked my Facebook notifications and I had, I can't remember the exact number, but it was a large number of likes. It was well over 150 likes, I believe. This one picture yeah. created that much engagement throughout our town. Right. And people started reminiscing and just getting excited. And I thought, oh, my goodness, like, there's something to this. Mm -hmm. So I thought, hmm, I'll start to illustrate our town. Always lived in Wallingford, and I've never really thought that much about, you know, my surroundings. I've just, mm -hmm. you know, kind of live here and, you know. But as you're finding out, we have some great landmarks. We absolutely do. I, there's inspiration around every corner. Mm -hmm. And from there... I started to host a Wallingford landmark to the Wallingford Forum every week that summer. And every week I would get really great feedback. And people mm -hmm. would say, oh, have you done this place? And, no, I haven't done it yet. Getting all this great feedback. And that was um, informing me of what to draw next. And then um, one thing led to another. And I started doing a garden market and bringing my prints there. Yeah, and people just... just Super excited to see the Wallingford series. All done in watercolor. Mm -hmm. And as you had told me earlier, you use ink right. to initially draw mm -hmm. whichever subject you're working on. And then you essentially make an adult coloring book for yourself. Yes, yeah. And fill in and using mm -hmm. the watercolor medium. Mm -hmm. Sounds like the interest grew. So this was a social media following. Mm -hmm. So you took it from just, I'm putting it out there. These are daily assignments from the five-week workshop. Right. And then it turned into great feedback and then suggestions. And mm -hmm. then you just started working off those suggestions right. for about a good year and a half. Mm -hmm. Then you just started going to festivals. You have an Etsy account. Right. And these watercolors, if you want to go through them with me, sure. I'd love to see. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Maybe I can pick out and recognize okay. some of these landmarks throughout our town. This looks like it's the stone bridge behind Route 5, mm -hmm. behind Home Depot yes. and uh, the Buick car dealership. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's called the Skew Bridge. So that was, I didn't know it even had a name, but then one, uh, bridge, okay. yeah, one of my fans had said, oh, that's the Skew Bridge. And I was like, okay, that's what we're calling it. And then this is the town, well, I guess it's obvious. It's the town hall. Formerly Robert Early Middle School. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of a, a kind of a interesting um, angle because if you think about the town hall, it's actually very horizontal, you mm -hmm. know, but it's so big and I like to get the detail of things. I don't like to lose. I like mm -hmm. to pay attention to the like, little key details. That's why I zoomed into just the front door the area. The front entrance, the yeah. front doors. And then, you know where that is? Ooh. So this is a garden. I don't. And 
wine. So it's a wine. Is it one of the the paradise? Or it's Gouveia. It is Gouveia. Yeah. So if you're standing behind the building, there's the pergola, and then there and the building's kind of up, and then they have this really pretty garden. Oh, okay. And then up. is yeah. this underneath is where the winemaking happens, mm -hmm. right? Because I think I've yeah. I like to find interesting angles and little places that people don't That's always. That's great because we're now we're looking at it from mm -hmm. that garden perspective. Yeah. Because it would be really hard to capture the, I mean, the beauty of Govea is, I mean, you've got Amazing. that view, mm -hmm. and it would be hard to capture that in watercolor. So I try to kind of zoom in mm -hmm. on little details. And so that's St. Paul's Episcopal oh, Church yes. on Main okay. Street, which has beautiful stained glass. Oh, wow. And again, there's the entrance, so you do like kind of scale your. Yeah. I love to draw bricks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then. The, the, mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. So you also do smaller scale prints as well. Mm -hmm. so. so five by seven is the smallest that I print, which is basically almost half of the size. Mm -hmm. And then I can, this is an eight by 10, and then I can also do 11 by 14. And you will take requests, mm -hmm. and you will also do prints of anything other than Wallingford Landmarks. Oh, yeah. I, I brought this along just because we're in Wallingford, and I thought it would be of interest. Definitely. I've done a whole series of flowers. I've drawn ketchup bottles. You have some stuff here that yeah. I'd love to see. And I have down there a uh, red stapler. I do time-lapse videos of my drawings, too. And actually, this one, the time-lapse video of this is really fun to watch. Because, um, as I was telling you earlier, I don't use pencil when I do these drawings. Mm -hmm. I do ink. So, you Which know, it's amazing to me. Some of these drawings are sort of riddled with mistakes. But I think that's what kind of gives them their charm so I try to work with the mistakes mm -hmm. and so something like this you know you're working with a circle which is always challenging to draw and then to fit all those numbers in mm -hmm. in the right spot well, that's definitely challenging and then yeah. to try to get them all to be the same size yeah so I mean they're you know it's close enough you know but mm -hmm. that's the beauty of watercolor it's very whimsical and it's just sort fun. of easy going and fun and that's right oh wow and you get the Christmas tree mm -hmm. in there so that's the perfect timing yeah. The holiday season and the wreaths adorning the lamplight there street. Okay. So that's right off Center Street. And you wouldn't believe it, but that is probably one of my most popular prints. So many people have connections to that street. Really? It's, it, it's so funny to me. In the sense of having lived there or just yeah, from watching parades, I, because there's, I see the flag. There's a lot of apartments on that street. So I think a lot of people had their first, you know, apartment there or, okay. you know, and it's a really old street too, mm -hmm. late 1800s, you know, so you've got older homes on that street. Um, mm -hmm. It's really very quaint. And then this is the Wallen for Public Library, which is actually where I took the Etsy Entrepreneur course taught me how to set up okay. an Etsy shop, which was really cool, and also their collaboratory space. Um, mm -hmm. You can find me there um, working on my drawings. A lot of times I'll just be in there working. Um, so I just love, well, first of all, I love the library. I love the librarians. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a, a great, wonderful, a wonderful space. It makes mm -hmm. me so proud to be from Wallingford. Um, so I really wanted to draw something for them. And mm -hmm. It was so hard. I had just talked to so many librarians who were like trying to come up with what should I draw, what should I draw, because mm -hmm. it's tricky because it's a very new building. It is. So it doesn't have a lot of little nooks and crannies like I normally mm -hmm. like to draw. So I would go there every week and just be hunting for mm -hmm. different things to draw. And then one day I was by the circulation desk and I saw the cart with the canvas bags. And I thought, oh, that's what's going to give it that personality, that little human mm -hmm. touch. Because I loved the arch, I loved the stop sign, I loved, I knew that I liked this area, but mm -hmm. without the bags. And you have just, your brick. Yes. And, and lots I, of them. And, you know, without the bags, they just sort of seemed like this, like, weird, like, you know, doorway to, I don't know, mm -hmm. you know, so I really was happy with the way it turned out. How did you know that you were destined to be an artist? Is this uh, a learned well, I think it's, it is really is. Passion that I think it's just really the way I see the world, you mm -hmm. know. So I, I now I say my staring problem has finally paid off. So, you know, as a kid, I was always just, you know, really looking closely at things mm -hmm. and examining Checking things. things. Out and... How does this go together? How is this made? And I'm always, when I look at anything, I'm always thinking about them in terms of like this table, you know, the shape of it, and you know mm -hmm. how to, you know, how it all relates to each other. I mean, I think it's just kind of the way I see the world. And how are you painting 
Do you just go and set up an easel? Spur? You can see me wandering around um, Wallingford with my phone many times, just sort of snapping photos of random things. I mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> my iPhoto is filled with the most bizarre groupings and Oh, and photos. so you're painting from the photos. I paint from photos. I'm always taking in information. I'm always mm -hmm. studying my environment. Thank goodness for my little pocket camera. This one was really special to me that to be able to special. do this. On hill, that's where the, the garden. little garden mm -hmm. yeah. with wildflowers. I was really excited to do that too because I just thought, you know, that was so nice that they keep that garden for us to see. And um, I just wanted to capture, you know, it, capture it with the signs again. I love mm -hmm. signs. And then even the electrical box, you know, I just, I like adding all those little elements. The details there, yeah. I mean, it definitely helps you decide on the locale like mm -hmm. okay so i know where that is and even if you know you don't always see the street signs mm -hmm. some of the other details that you include um help sort of definitely figure out where we are wallingford and the guys at the fire department were so great they were so excited to see, mm -hmm. to see it and um a lot of them collect a lot of memorabilia like um okay firehouse and memorabilia which i didn't know that mm -hmm. was a category until i had done this those are all my vertical okay. orientation and then i have my console so, so that here's another popular location i'm gonna guess this because it's right near my home which is exit 14 That's that looks right. like woodhouse avenue yeah and all of the signs leading to all of the great places that wallingford house yeah there's a lot going on there that's my actual favorite one mm -hmm. um, i'm always excited to share There's that one with people. Yeah, that's yeah. very detailed. So the original state armory, which is our police department. Right. Another popular one, I'll bet. So this is Kendrick Park. I think in the past few years, the um, people who live in the neighborhood have like refurbished the park. Oh, nice. Just different landmarks. You know, people have special memories mm -hmm. associated with them. People are just always really excited to share that with their loved ones and mm -hmm. just kind of commemorate those special and it's times. almost like it starts a conversation piece mm -hmm. with memories being right. you know, cheered. Right. Because sometimes you like art just because, you know, something looks nice, mm -hmm. but you don't know where it is. Right. But it, when it's something that's like near and dear and right. it's part of your neighborhood or, right. you know, a childhood memory or mm -hmm. something growing up, like that Fair Street is yeah. a lot of people. It's such a nice neighborhood. So mm -hmm. I definitely wanted to um, draw that for them. There is Oops. our gazebo. Mm-hmm on the green you'll notice you see a little bit of fall foliage there mm -hmm. um i usually do mostly springtime uh, i all my pictures are very green um i did learn that through my 365 challenge that i appreciate the um spring colors and the summer colors i huge fan of buying the fall foliage and that mm -hmm. sort of stuff or or the winter scenes you know where that oh. is this is on Tamarack Swamp Road. Not many people would go through there because it's kind of, you can't really get through to anywhere yeah. there. I was following um, another forum on Facebook, um, I think it's Pictures of Wallingford, mm -hmm. where a lot of different people share pictures of Wallingford. Other photographs. Yeah, a gentleman, he had posted this really great photo oh. of this bridge, and I thought, that's really cool. I said, I'm going to draw that. And then I mm -hmm. drew it, and then I posted it under his picture to share it with him, and then we conversation so i get inspiration from all different places oh beaumont farm yes very good <laughs> very good mm -hmm. started with dairy queen yes, so. so we're back to dairy queen yeah. full circle yeah. that's amazing it really mm -hmm. social media grew this it did you know everything kind of just converged i had taken the etsy entrepreneur class the year before in 2016 nothing was really clicking and then once i started this project i actually mm -hmm. took it again and then i was like oh okay now i get it this is what i need to do with for mm -hmm. my shop and i think yeah. because you shared it with social media and then it took off mm -hmm. with all of the great great reception you received mm -hmm. the feedback and then you right. just kept building on that mm -hmm. it wasn't like you were making a product and then waiting around to see if there was a market right. for it yes. or a demand and kind of waiting mm -hmm. around to build you know, right a following get followers from all over the place mm -hmm. I, you know sometimes i wonder how they find me people in different parts of the united states are from here i've lived in wallingford and you mm -hmm. know they like to stay in touch that way and just see you know the different things that i illustrate it reminds them of home social media i mean it's, it's really not a substitute for that you know in-person interaction but it is an amazing way to share your art the time-lapse videos that I share of my drawings, you know, people just, they just really enjoy watching them. And it makes me really happy mm -hmm. that. That's yeah. kind of like a Bob Ross on steroids, yeah. right? Because yeah. we're seeing some yeah. real quick work. Mm -hmm. And you mm -hmm. said, 
you work fairly quickly. I do work fairly quickly, yeah. What, what does a piece like this, you know, as far as how long would this take to put together from the drawing? Um, that one probably took me about 45 minutes. The flowers and things, that's probably less time, like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. you know, so you just do quick note cards? Stuff. I do note cards. Um, not the smallest. Mm -hmm. You'll, yeah. You do, mm -hmm. and then you do? Five by seven. Five. And then 11 by 14, which is the large. Back here, mm -hmm. we have Wallingford Public Access, mm -hmm. a television station, and I Freeman. Yes, peeking out. Peeking out. Yeah. That's awesome. I can see it. One of our former guests, mm -hmm. RC, the <laughs> graffiti artist. Yeah, it was a, that was a thank you to WPAA for having me show my work here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was really appreciative. It was my first real show, actually, was here. And um, I just wanted to give them that to show mm -hmm. my appreciation. I get inspiration from, you know, I just mm -hmm. love that sort of relationship conversation back and forth through mm -hmm. art. You have a monthly newsletter. Mm -hmm. And what does that entail? Um, just course, letting you know, people know, be? yeah, what I'm, what I'm, you know, kind of some of my musings and then um, what I've been working on, where I'm going to be, and then also asking questions. Right. Yeah. So you're constantly interacting mm -hmm. with the public. Absolutely. And you can subscribe to that on your website. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. that's great. Yeah. Okay. As Wallingford's local artist, mm -hmm. me McNamara, thank you so much. Thank you. For coming out. So we much. look forward to all the rest of your requests and more landmarks. And mm -hmm. Keep the requests coming because I'm always excited to see mm -hmm. Wallingford through other people's eyes. All right, so we can yeah. catch you on all those social mm -hmm. media platforms mm -hmm. and on your website. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm Linda Marie Cologne. Thank you for watching Making It Artist Story. You're on Instagram. Yeah. You're on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the yeah, store. Right. Yeah. And then a local farmer's market, mm -hmm. festival.